my channel. Today I am going to be doing a free stretch workout. It's going to be just over 15 minutes, so perfect to tag on to the end of a workout, maybe one of the workouts already here on my YouTube channel, or if you're someone who's just feeling super stiff, maybe when you first wake up or before you go to bed to make you feel nice and zen. So it's just one of those workouts that's not going to take you long. Um, it's going to give you time to just relax those muscles and give you a little bit of time to get some mental clarity as well. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. Also, excuse my croaky voice. Um, I think I'm losing it just for I shout so much in all my online classes. So bear with me with that, but we're going to power through. Come on down to your mats, guys. We are going to start over in all four position. Just give your feet a little bash. Relax those legs. Relax any tension in the feet. Taking a nice deep breath in, opening up your front arm, stretching out your chest. Breathing out, lowering that hand down. Same thing on the other side. Nice deep breath in. Breathing out, lowering it down. This time as you breathe in, arching the spine, looking all the way up. Breathing out, reverse the stretch. Tuck that chin in, rounding your spine. And again, nice deep breath in. Breathing out, reverse that stretch. One more time. Coming back to that nice neutral spine, when you're ready, tucking underneath the toes, lifting the bum and hips up, finding your first downward facing dog. Breathing here, opening your chest through your arms. Finding that nice, deep, easy breath. Start to find some movement. So you might like to walk through the feet or you might like to sway the hips from side to side. Whatever feels good for you today. Coming back to that static position, taking a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bringing your front foot to the outside of your front hand, finding that nice wide lunge. And every time you breathe out, just allow the hips to deepen and relax into that stretch. Drawing your heel towards the back of your mat. Nice and gently lowering the knee down, untucking the toes. Taking a nice deep breath in, opening and unfolding your arm. Breathing out, placing that hand down. Now you can either hold your wide lunge here, or if you want to, you can come down to one or both of your forearms. Keep breathing into these hips. So wherever you are, keeping your shoulders down away from your ears, relaxing your head and neck. Good, from here we're going to gently push against the inside of our knee till our foot comes to the outside edge, stretching into the glute. Just a small amount of pressure here. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Relaxing that foot down, heel towing the foot all the way to the other side of your mat, meeting your other hand, and then relaxing that knee down, coming over the knee, finding your pigeon stretch. So if this feels like too much for you, you can bend the back leg and shift your weight onto that bum cheek. But if you can, coming right over, folding over the legs, relaxing into it. And every time you breathe out, guys, trying to let go of that tension in the glutes and hips. Mm. 
relaxing your head and necks, taking nice, long, deep breaths. Slowly walking the hands back up towards you, taking one more breath here. In your own time now, making your way all the way back to your downward facing dog. Opening up that chest through your shoulders, drawing your heels down to your mats. Taking a nice deep breath in. Bringing your back foot to the outside of your back hand, finding that wide lunge. Again, relax those shoulders, open up that chest. Find that nice, calm, easy breath. If you want to shut your eyes in these stretches, that's absolutely fine. Whatever helps you to let go. Relaxing that knee down, untucking the toes, taking a nice deep breath in. Unfold the arm. Placing the hand down if you want to, coming down to your forearms or staying up on your hands. Adjust your legs as you need to, just deepening that hip stretch. Placing your hand on the inside of your knee, gently applying a small amount of pressure so the foot comes to the outside edge, stretching out that glute. Placing that foot down, heel towing it all the way over to the other side of your mat, dropping the knee down, and then when you're ready, finding your pigeon stretch, whatever that means for you. Bending the back knee if you need to. And if you can, just relaxing that head down. How long and slow can you make that breath? Walking the hands back in, taking one more breath here. Making your way over to a forward fold position this time. So feet are about hip distance apart. Folding, hanging, relaxing over the legs. Bending your knees as much as you need to to get your hands flat on your mats. On your next breath in, wrapping your arms round your legs, hugging yourself in towards them. Just really let your head and neck go heavy. Finding our ragdoll, so catching hold of our elbows, gently swaying from side to side. Let your head and neck move with you. Just letting go of any extra tension that we don't need in the body. Relaxing the hands back down. On your next breath, lacing your fingertips together, gently allowing the arms to float up. Let gravity do its work. Try not to push or pull. Stretching out those shoulders.
gently unlacing your fingers, placing the hands down. Stepping all the way back down to your mats, finding your child pose. So drawing your toes together, knees apart, extend your hands out along the mat. Relaxing your foreheads down here, guys. Taking a nice deep breath in, threading the back arm underneath the front, relaxing your cheek down. Keep drawing your bum towards your heels. Same thing on the other side, nice deep breath in, threading that front arm underneath the back. Coming back to the center, one more deep breath here. Coming up to your all fours and then nice and slowly making your way over onto your backs, lying down onto your mats, hugging your knees into your chest. Gently placing the hands on top of your kneecaps, start to circle the knees, stretching out those hips, massaging our back. Keeping your chin tucked so your head and neck are in line. Change direction with your circles. Coming back to the center, hugging those knees in nice and tight, bringing your head up now to meet your knees. Relaxing your front leg down, hugging the back knee in nice and tight to your chest, taking a deep breath in. As you breathe out, taking the leg across the body, allowing your shoulder to go heavy and then turning your head away. Finding that twist. You might like to close your eyes here, just really relax. Slowly coming back to the center, picking up that front knee, taking a nice deep breath in. And then when you're ready, taking that leg across the body, dropping that shoulder down, closing your eyes if it feels good. back to the center, bringing your feet to your mat. When you're ready, gently allowing your knees to fall outwards, bringing the soles of your feet together, catching hold of your elbows, taking them behind your head, finding your open butterfly. Closing your eyes here, just take a moment to notice any areas that still feel tight. Try and let go of that extra tension. And just give yourself a couple of breaths to unwind, to calm down after maybe a busy day or a challenging workout. Or if you've just woken up, 
Give yourself a chance to reflect on what you're going to do today. One more deep breath here. In your own time now, rolling over onto your side and then gently coming up to a nice, comfortable seated position, maybe cross-legged. Taking a nice deep breath in, opening up the chest, lifting that eye gaze. Breathing out, rounding the spine, dropping your weight back to your hips. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out. Coming back to the center, taking a nice deep breath in, circling the palms together. And breathing out. One more time. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you feel nice and relaxed, or I hope you have a little bit of mental clarity now. Um, thank you again for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and comment as always.